mailbag time. Not quite sure what's in here yet. And we've got this box, which appears to be from Fluke. So I actually know what's in here already. And it's pretty exciting. Oh, let's find out what's in this, because I don't have a clue. Right, this is supposed to be some low melting point solder. It's amazing how expensive this stuff is. <laughs> I don't actually know if it really is low melting point or not, I guess I'll find out. But something I've always lacked is having low melting point solder. I mean, the lowest stuff I've got is my lead solder, right? My, you know, standard 10 lead, 60-40 mix sort of stuff, you know? This is supposed to be low melt, without flux. Apparently it's by Kimmet. So it's supposed to be 124 degrees C. But there's been times when I wanted to get a device off a board and it would have been nice to have some low melting point solder to help me get it off without risking damage. You know, sometimes this makes it a lot easier. Flux it up, put some low melting point on and off you go. As I've seen on YouTube, but trying to find some. Yeah, well, it's always been really expensive. So this stuff is relatively cheap. I don't know. As far as I know, it's still wire, but we'll find out, I suppose, in time. If you like my bag video, something to click like. And if it's the first time here, click subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications about my future videos. Also, check out my other videos, I've got loads of stuff. This ain't cutting it. Let's get another knife. Oh, I saw this. I saw someone do a video on one of these things. I thought, that looks interesting. Who was it? Um, Michael Beanie, I think it was. Hello, Michael Beanie, if you're watching my videos. Or we'll stumble across this one. I thought this would be an interesting thing to look at. So, ECG machine. USB powered. Um, you have to touch this or something, I don't know. USB charger. I thought it would be interesting to look at. And it's got these instructions which, well, so I suppose to tell your heart rate and if you've got an irregular heartbeat or something like that. I think I actually do, but anyway, we'll find out. Let's turn this on. There we go. Alright. Um, what do I do? How do I hold it like that? Oh, it's picking up something. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sick. <laughs> um, I don't know where you're supposed to put it. Yeah, put it somewhere. I could read the instructions. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that, I'm normal. Apparently. There might be a link for this if you're lucky. Normal. How little did I know? Okay, these are just some camera out things, adapters. I've been changing my lights around a little bit and just trying to work on my lighting stuff a bit more and just changing my rigs a little bit. And I thought I might need some more adapters, so I've got some more adapters. This is just like a cold shoe slash hot shoe mount kind of thing. And you clamp that down, it'll give you a uh, quarter inch, whatever the hell it is, threaded fitting, which fits the camera or other accessories. And you can then bolt that down to the edge end to clamp things together. I didn't have anything like this before. Well, what I had was not very good, I think. Maybe I'll use them more, I can't remember now. But I've got some more of them, not too exciting. Ooh, shiny. So this is some reflective tape. Now the idea of this is that, like most things in this, that live in rural areas, I've got a mailbox which is on the side of the road and it's right next to the driveway and when I'm reversing out early in the morning when it's still dark it's a bit hard to see it because there's no lighting here, it's raw, right? It's dark. I thought I'd stick some reflector on a pole on mailbox or something like that so I can at least see it a little bit easier without risking reversing into it. I mean, I've, I haven't hit it yet but it's been close a couple of times <laughs> so I thought I'd get some of this. I think it's top adhesive, I think it's supposed to be. Dare open it up. Yeah, it's like it's adhesive, yeah, it's adhesive tape. So that's fine, I can stick that on the back there and hopefully it means I can see it a little bit easier. Right, now I've got the box from Fluke. This is exciting. This is for me. These things are always exciting for me. When I get review items, I always enjoy getting those items. It's, you know, quite exciting. You know, someone thought that it's worthwhile to send me something to look at in a video. And I think that's great. You know, that, to me that's a good thing because it means that I'm doing something right. All this effort and time and investment I'm putting into the channel, it's kind of paying off. And Fluke is a high quality brand. I'm especially pleased about that. Now, usual disclaimer, obviously this is the same for review at no cost to me. So this has been sent to me at no cost. Now this has been organised via my contact at Pomona. So I've got a guy at Pomona who's arranged this for me. So that's been really good. See what is C35 soft cases. 
which is going to suit my bigger multimeters. You always want to protect your meters when you're carrying around. We have, as they're stuck together, you can probably guess, magnetic hangers. Very handy things to have for your multimeters. So if you're doing work on whatever, you know, industrial areas or on vehicles or whatever, you need something to hang a meter up sometimes because you just can't put it down somewhere. And having a hanger is essential, pretty much. So these hangers, they sent me two of these because I asked for two, that's good of them. And the T pack they're called, highly recommend them. Once you've got one of these, you'll never regret it. And then the masterpiece. They sent me a Fluke 87.5. Excellent. So you've probably seen lots of YouTubers using this particular meter. And that's because it's very well specced. It's got lots of features on it which are really handy for electronics. I'm absolutely thrilled. I asked for this meter and I said, yeah, we'll send you one then. And I said, Excellent. So I've already done the reviews obviously on the 117, was it? 107, the 175, which has become my daily meter sitting here. I've got the other two meters here somewhere. I think I've got one in the car actually, which is one of the reasons I wanted this case. So now they sent me the 87. The idea is I'm going to do a big review on this thing like I did the other meters. So I'm going to put it through its paces, chuck up my calibrator or calibrators, check it against my reference standards and that sort of stuff and just see how good it is in relation to the stuff that I can test. Not many people have a calibrator available to them like I do so it's quite good that I can do this kind of review and actually put it through its pace on the calibrator. You can get these references, you can try them out and you know check certain voltages and what have you on them in limited testing and get reasonable results from those but I've got a calibrator. <laughs> I'm going to use it as you'd expect from Fluke. You know, quality. Let's see, let's see what we've got in here. I'll be doing a full review on this thing, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. There we go. Nice. Batteries? Yeah, of course it's got batteries. So AC volts, DC volts, millivolts and temperature, sounder, resistance and capacitance, diode test by itself, milliamps and amps DC, microamps DC. Lovely. Oh, that feels so nice. Flute make a good mode switch. Auto hold. Yeah, beautiful. Very pleased about that. And what's the temperature probe? Crocodile clip thing. Nice. And some leads, which are standard leads. This is PVC, not not um, silicon, which is a shame. It'd be nice to have silicon leads with you know, standard leads with a meter of this quality. I think most people have already got. If you're getting something like this, you've already got a nice set of leads. You know, you've got something decent anyway, and you probably just swap these out and just put the nice leads on it. I mean, it's universal fitment. I mean, that's what I do. I've got nice leads which I like. I've got, you know, my own preferences. What I already have, I'll just put those on it. But uh, still, you know, standard leads. And we've got the um, exposed tips here. Also got also the covers for the cat rating and stuff, and a bag with amp jack plug set. Interesting. So that means you can plug those up and get the dirt out of them if you're not using them, I suppose. Nice. So thank you very much Pomona for arranging this and Fluke for sending me the meter. Very much appreciated. I'm looking forward to doing this review. Awesome piece of gear. I'm not biased, honest. No, honestly, I'm not biased. I'm very pleased to get this. But my, when I do reviews, I do give a honest review. I hope it lives up to my expectations. So, that's this from our bag done. Check out my Electronics for Beginners video series from currently doing. I've done loads of videos for that so far, dozens of videos, so make sure you go and check that out. Go to my channel, look at the playlists, and you'll see that list there. I may have even put it there somewhere, or maybe even at the end of the video for a change. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See you tomorrow in the other videos. Bye.